on me like he was, he was telling me. Dude, this is a pretty this is a pretty sweet rig. Uh, where's your sight? So what I'm doing right now is I'm blind bailing. I'm practicing and getting used to the bow and getting used to my break. And in order to do that effectively, you shouldn't have something to aim with. So I haven't put my scope on yet, specifically that purpose. I also haven't tied my peep in yet because I want to get super comfortable with the bow before I even do that. I see no bow sight and I saw Josh over here shooting. I'm like, what's going on? Josh is about to break it down for us. He's going to show us what we should be doing in the off season. Hang out until the end and find out exactly what you should be doing in the off season to dope your archery game. Homework people, I'd love to see you shooting 15 minutes to 30 minutes a night. I want you to pick one of these five things to focus on each time you have a session. Where there's a will, there's a way. Don't quit, I'm here to stay. Yeah. So what is blind bailing and why are you doing it? The reality of blind bailing is a very simple one. You need to feel your shot over hitting the middle of the target. In my brain, it is more important for me to make a good shot than to hit the middle of the target. How do you know? How are you aware of that? How are you working on that? Well, in the off season, I like to take my sight and my peep off my bow, so I don't have those references, so I can't even be tempted to try to aim with it. So I can truly feel the shot and embrace what that feels like and when you accept shooting the bow correctly or discharging a good clean shot is more important than hitting the middle of the target, your bow stops moving around because you're no longer fixated on what's making it move around. When you're trying to hit the middle of the target and you're really fixated on that and focusing on that, your pin, your brain is conscious of the fact that that's moving around and you're trying to put it back in the middle, which increases the movement. The purpose of blind bailing is to help eliminate that. Once you get making a good clean shot in your psyche that you know what it is you know what it feels like and you can embrace that that's the more important part the only way to keep it there is to eliminate the site periodically and you obviously don't want to eliminate the site when you're trying to hunt so this time of year when there's nothing open and there's nothing you can hunt spending a month or two of your free time just blank bailing taking your side off taking your peep out so you don't even have that to reference to will make you so much more aware of your anchor point, your face position, your head position, and what feels right. So I spend a good portion of my off season just doing this. Over and over and over and over again. Pulling through the shot is the only way to get a really true clean break. Um, there's a lot of phrases out there that are you know key trigger points target panic it's one of them uh, target panic is your inability to discharge the bow cleanly when the target's involved so if you get rid of the target you focus on just discharging the bow you don't freak out as much um, for myself when i finally broke myself of it i was using a pure back tension release that had no trigger so i couldn't make a glow and shot it 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 until the other way felt weird like if I would every once in a while jump on the trigger and make it go off, that I'm sure most of you are very aware of how that feels. That felt odd. If you haven't shot a back tension until the other way feels odd, you haven't shot it enough. You have to eliminate the target to break yourself of that and get rid of that. That's the only way to do it. At least that I've ever found. I've tried to, a lot of other things, but that is by far the only way. Okay, so I'm gonna go through my shot sequence real quick so you have an idea of how I come to draw on fire every time. So first things first, I get my feet set. I always have my left foot a little bit behind my right foot, so I have a slightly open stance, about shoulder width apart, weight kind of middle of my feet. I don't wanna be on my toes, I don't wanna be on my heels, I kinda of wanna be in the middle. Get my hips right over my feet, shoulders over my hips, and kinda of take a breath in and then let it out and let my hips just rock down a little bit so I'm not trying to hold them up so I don't get fatigued as much. Then I'll get my hand grip set after I've got my release in my hand, bring my bow arm up, get my positions where I want it, acquire my target, draw the bow back, bring the release into my face. I don't bring my face to the release. Find a comfortable spot. I shut my eyes, feel my face against the string and start to push my left hand towards the target and pull my right hand back harder, 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 and then it goes off. And I had no idea it happened. 
If you know it went off, you punched or you forced the shot and you'll react to that. You can't send a signal with your brain to your right hand and tell it to fire the bow and not send a signal to your left hand to say, hey, the shot's coming, be ready, which makes you flinch or react to it. So a surprise is the only way to not have your left hand react to what your right hand does. So basic things to think about. Find your target up in front of you, your positioning and what you'd have it, have your hand grip the way you want it, start to finish. Draw the bow back slowly, bring the string into your face. Don't bring your face over to the string. That's your aiming point. You don't want to move your aiming point around. Get your finger around the thumb if you're using a thumb trigger and start to push and pull those parts away from each other until it goes off like that. You shouldn't, your bow arm should move. If your bow arms don't move, you know it went off because your body stopped it from moving because for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. If I'm pulling back and the bow goes off, my left hand has to go forward and away unless I told it not to. The only way you told it not to is if you knew it was going off. The people who have it really bad, who have the, the panic, will pick a point of aim or fire one arrow and then they'll start aiming at that arrow because you are just hooked on aiming because yeah. your brain is fixated on hitting the middle of the target. Yeah. So for me, it's just easier to take your side away. Um, you, can, you can try to cover it up, but you better blind bail it really close. Because like I'm shutting my eyes and firing these arrows, which is why they're you know six inches apart. I'll pick a spot that's about six inches over, shut my eyes and draw and fire because I don't want to even look at it. If you can do it with your eyes shut or do it in the dark, even better if you don't want to take your sight off. But if you have the pin there and you have something you can draw a reference to aim, you're going to want to aim at it if you have that problem, which most people do. They just don't want to admit it. Homework, people. I'd love to see you shooting 15 minutes to 30 minutes a night. I want you to pick one of these five things to focus on each time you have a session. Number one, your stance and your body. That's your feet, your hips, your shoulders in line before you draw the bow back each time. Number two, your hand position on your grip before you start to draw the bow back. Number three, bringing the release and the string into you, don't move into it. Number four, hard, strong push-pull into the discharge. And number five, breathing. Focus on breathing, three long, deep breaths, low and slow, in your nose, out your mouth, in between every shot before you pull and before you fire. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, guys. If you like what you're seeing, hit subscribe down below and make sure to check out podiumarcher.com. It's our new website. We sell all kinds of stuff there, ship all over the country. Check us out. Thanks for watching. I was envisioning. Do you know how nice it's been to not be in front of the camera all day? Josh has had to do everything and I just hit record and boss people around. I even bossed him around today. This has been awesome. Producer Dan, director Dan. That's right, y'all.